Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library and I'm going to bring you some suggestions of books to read or listen to via a Librarian Recommends session fortnightly on a Thursday. You can download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our user guide video, which you can find in the video section on the left of this Facebook page, or go to our YouTube channel using the link above. Today I am going to concentrate on fantasy books. Like me, this may be a genre you've not tried before, but I think it's well worth dipping into. Firstly, I'm going to mention some ebook titles you might be interested in trying. My first suggestion is Guards, Guards by Terry Pratchett. If you want to be introduced to the fantasy parody world of Discworld, start here. A must read for any Pratchett fan and a good place to start if you haven't read any of the Discworld novels. Trouble is afoot in the backwards corrupted city of Anchor Moorpork, a secretive society led by the manipulative Supreme Guard Master have got their minds on overthrowing the Patrician by summoning a gigantic fire-spitting dragon. Meanwhile, we meet the Night Watch, a motley crew of, of endearingly incompetent misfits, led by the drunk Captain Sam Vimes, and then joined by the wonderfully literal six-foot, six-not-quite-dwarf named Carrot along with help from other brave citizens, including a librarian who is a peanut-loving orangutan, the Night Watch tried to keep their city from being burnt to the ground. This is a fun and entertaining read that will make you laugh throughout. There's danger, suspense, action, humour, plenty of satire, and a merry cast of flawed underdog characters you can't help but love. Next up is Porn of Prophecy by David Eddings. This is the beginning of a five-book series, which follows the journey of classic hero Garion, a young orphan farm boy who discovers he isn't ordinary at all, but part of a lineage of a magical family. When a magical stone, the orb, is stolen, Garion suddenly finds himself involved in a quest to retrieve it from the evil god Torak. Together, Garion, Aunt Pole, a storyteller and some interesting characters face assassination, monsters, gods, fierce warriors, war and magic. An epic fight plays out between good and evil and two competing prophecies. This is a coming of age story, appropriate for 10 years or so and up and including adults as well. If you're a fan of old school sword and sorcery fantasy, do try this. How about Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adenami? For a more modern and grim series, try this debut fantasy novel. This is a West African inspired fantasy set in the fictional land of Orisha, where magic has been stomped out by a domineering king and children of former magi are treated as second class citizens. The point of view shifts between three main characters. One is Zeli, a fierce warrior who can't rid of the memory of the night when magic disappeared and her mother was murdered. Another is rogue Princess Amari, who has a scroll that can bring back the magic to the people. The third is Prince Inan, who struggles to reconcile the hateful teachings of his father from what is right or wrong. Three teenagers must embark on a fast-paced, intense battle to restore magic to the world before it is lost forever. Beneath it all are darker themes of racially charged violence. A really interesting read. My final suggestion is The Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu. Here, Ken presents 16 of his favourite fantasy tales. The collection features award-winning and award-finalist short stories that conjure up the magical within the mundane. These stories are all so different. They transport you to different times and different worlds. Each one asks philosophical questions, such as, how do we keep a sense of wonder as we grow older? Or what if your soul was an ice cube? What happens when the ice melts? Or what is a hero? With heartfelt prose and vivid images, Liu crafts memorable, imaginative stories 
that explore themes like the clash between Asian and American culture, the search for self-identity and belonging, and Chinese myth and legend. One of the stories, The Paper Menagerie, is the only story ever to have won the Hugo, Nebula and World Fantasy Awards. And now on to some audiobooks. It's really good being read to, and listening to fantasy novels really will transport you to another world. First up is a real classic, The Hobbit, by J.R.R. Tolkien. Bilbo Baggins lives comfortably in his hobbit hole in Bag End, reluctant to venture out. However, one day he accidentally invites the wizard Gandalf to tea, and the wizard marks him as the 14th member of his company of dwarves, enlisting his services as a burglar. They are tasked to raid the treasure hoard of the cruel dragon Smorg. Along the journey, Bilbo encounters trolls, goblins, a powerful and dangerous magic ring, and a frightening creature known as Gollum. He travels further from home than ever before, and is changed forever. A classic fantasy novel that is well worth listening to. How about The Chronicles of Narnia, The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis? This is a classic children's fantasy audiobook, suitable for kids and adults of all ages. If you've read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and are curious to know how it all started, try this. It explains the history and very beginnings of the Narnia world. Aslan the Creator, the Witch, the Elderly Professor, the Wardrobe, and the lamppost in Narnia itself. In The Magician's Nephew, two late Victorian children, Diggeroy and Polly, discover some magic rings, then embark on an exciting and dangerous journey, encountering an evil queen, the mighty lion Aslan, along with an unwitting cabbie and his horse. There are serious bits and funny bits, but overall a meaningful story in which good and evil do battle in the magical land of Narnia, C.S. Lewis's story is brought to vibrant life in this audiobook with a cast of multiple narrators. My next audiobook for you is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. If you're interested in epic fantasy novels, try this audiobook. Sanderson takes his time to build a world complete with a unique magical system, different cultures, opposing religions, politics and complex characters. The story follows four different perspectives. Two sisters, Vivenna and Ciri, who happen to be princesses attempting to stop two nations from going to war. Lightsong, the reluctant god of bravery, who fills the story with mirth. And mysterious Vasha the Warbreaker, running around in the shadows, wielding his talking sword. In the middle of complicated schemes, power bids and war preparations, we have the God King himself, a man reputed to be a monster. This is all set in a world where those who die in glory return as gods and where the magic system plays around colour, souls and biochromatic breath that brings objects and dead people to life. My final suggestion is The Secret Commonwealth, The Book of Dust, by Philip Pullman. Set in an alternate world Oxford, society is ruled by the oppressive magisterium, which regards science and knowledge as the enemy and actively suppresses anyone who dares to question its authority. In this world, human souls exist naturally outside their bodies as demons in animal form. The hero of the story is 11-year-old Malcolm Polsteed, a sweet-natured, curious, intelligent boy who finds himself stuck in a murder mystery involving secret acorns and he becomes a little spy. With the help of his trusty canoe and his unlikely companion Alice, Malcolm must protect a mysterious special baby girl named Lyra from the many threats she faces, including disgusting disgraced villains, dangerous people who want to capture her and an epic flood. It delves into the realms of magical realism near the end with a fairy queen, a river giant and a witch queen. If you loved Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy, try this. But you don't need to have read His Dark Materials to understand or enjoy this book. Michael Sheen, the narrator of the audiobook, is great 
and his impersonations of all the characters are engaging and well done. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read, even if it's a genre you've not thought of reading before. It's certainly a genre I'm going to dip into. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search and browse by genre and availability in the RB Digital app. Do use the comments section below to add your own suggestions of fantasy books you think our customers might enjoy. And if we don't already have them available in our RB Digital collection, we will see if we can add them. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Wing for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Stay safe and well, and see you soon. Bye.